Hello and welcome to WhatMap for City Skylines, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. There are thousands of items on the workshop now, so finding the right one for your next city build is a huge task. So each day, Monday to Saturday, we'll review some using our 5-star rating and the coveted seal of approval. So join me, fellow Skylines Explorers, as we venture out to today's new land. Who am I? I'm Bon Bon B, and you are very, very welcome. Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. Bon Bon here. How are you doing? Now, I hope you had a really productive weekend. I sure was very busy and I'm now able to announce the thing that you've all been waiting for. Well, at least two of you have been waiting for anyway. Season 3 of Skylines Talk. Yeah, if you uh, tune into this channel at 6 o'clock UK time tonight and beyond, there'll be a trailer telling you everybody who's going to be appearing on the show, including what dates they'll be appearing. And we'll also have a quick review of everything that's happened in the past as well. So anyway, that's tonight, 6pm, uh, my channel. Be there or be somewhere else. Today's map is Vida Valley. Uh, I'm going with Vida Valley, actually. I think Vida Valley uh, by Titan. And this is quite nice indeed. There's your start square, and he's probably squirming right now. Don't worry, don't worry. Trust me, Titan. Trust me, I'm a doctor. I'm a liar, but I'm a doctor. Um, there's your resources. Right, let's go and have a look at the Steam page. There's your Steam page. And if we scroll up, you'll see that you just need an elevated wall, unlimited outside collections, unlimited trees. Take a screenshot of that. We'll be coming back and having a look at it a little bit later on. Okay. Now, who is Titan? You recognize the name, no doubt. And Titan is a Titan in the world of asset creations. And we've seen a lot from them recently a lot um, certainly in the Christmas special I did with uh, Mr Miyagi there was so many assets from Titan it was it was unreal and uh, the quality it I mean basically Titan is right up there in the top maybe half dozen asset creators that are active at the moment um, if not better if not higher than that but let, let, let's be let's be safe and just say in the top half dozen right these roads are pretty good yep and here's a an intersection and that's quite nice and sweeping, sweeping across. Now you can see we've got um, nice, I like this little triangular roundabout type thingy there. Uh, don't know how much weight of traffic that'll handle, but that's quite nice. Um, and anyway, yes, the, the highways, This is there is one central highway that goes right across the map. And then I believe there's six from memory, um, national roads that make up the rest of the network, all of them with the outside connections, which we've had to subscribe to. And uh, we've got this, uh, this, what's it, an aqueduct, I want to say aqueduct, but it's not an aqueduct, aqueduct carries water, but you know what I mean, Elev we're going with an elevated bridge, there you go, we'll go with an, a land bridge, I like that, we're going with a land bridge, um, these are very nice, these are curving beautifully across that little road there, and then come back down to ground, and like I say, the, uh, the roads are very smooth, very nice, very straight, quite like that, um, they're, they're not the very highest standards, but they're certainly better than I'm capable of doing without spending three years to uh, complete a, uh, a little bit of drift together here. So it almost come back and touched it, and then they'll just creep back out. It's, it's, very, it's, it's still very good standards. Anyway, that heads off to the fog, and we've got this intersection here, which we're going to we? we'll take a little country drive. Do you like that idea? I do. So you know, we'll feed off here and bend around there. Ah, a little bit of glitching. Now there is a little bit of glitching um, in at least one of the other in intersections that we've, we're have we going to skip over today. But that's the only one that I remember to um, stop and have a look at. Here, this is a little low, but not too low. But then we got the mantle. There's your telling blue mantle there. That is, um, I'm afraid that's uh, a definitely a detailing floor and we can't overlook it. We'll follow this national road. This is a nicely detailed national road. And the, the terrain in this map is very nice, very nice. The map's been designed for detailers, uh, not for vanilla players. Um, the thing is, um, you could say that every map has been designed for detailers coming down towards the industrial area at the moment you can say every map is because at the end of the day you just have a, a flat map 
well, the detailers can just go to town and it can't then go mad on it. Um, so for me, um, every map is for detailers. Um, and then we have to ask ourselves, would the average player like you or I be able to get a good game out of the map? Um, here's a, a roundabout. And if we have a look over there, got some of this nice uh, stone walling here and over here. Nice stone walling here, which we'll go up this route. We'll follow this route, I think. It's very nice. We'll have a look at the rail, rail in a minute, of course. So yes, would this map work for the vanilla player? Accepting that pretty much any map will work for a detailer, of course. Of course, if all you're going to do is plop down road, uh, that is, heads off to the fog that way. We, we won't go that way. Yes, um, you know, you could just, if you're just detailing, you just pop down car assets. They don't even have to move, because all you're going to do is take some nice pictures and say, ah, oh, isn't it good? Aren't I clever? And yes, it is good, and you are clever. But does this work as a map for a city? This Now, this is the um, the overpass that we just flew over a second ago, looking down on here. Now, you'll see this road has a break in it. Now, all the national road connections have a similar break in them. And as soon as I saw it, I knew why. Basically, this map will gridlock if we connect these up. Even though we've made these national roads highway uh, outside highway connections, they basically will kill the map. So guess what I've gone and done? <laughs> yes, you've guessed it. Well, we've got to test it, haven't we? We have got to test it. And yes, I have um, fixed all the outside connections and uh, we will see traffic like this. <laughs> this was literally about a minute to two minutes, maybe two minutes tops after I connected everything up and uh, it's gridlock. It's absolute gridlock and, you know, detailing. This is realism. This is real. Apart from the spawning trucks that get fed up and feel they're stuck forever. Right, well, now we're having a look down at the rail, okay? We're having a look down the rail. Um, and this is smooth, following the line of the road. I'm okay with that. I know some people don't like it, but it's not the entire map. It's just along here. So uh, why not? Anyway, following the, following the valleys, the valleys are nice and here we go elevated this is a long slow elevation i like that that's very well done we've got that bridge that's why the, the tunnel there it's just about high enough to allow a, a truck through and this is where you're supposed to put your central station i understand that okay and then we've got choices do we head off to the right which goes up the uh up there up that up that valley we could I just want to show you here, we've got, uh, we've got this tunnel. If you come in close to the tunnel, look, you can see the train suddenly hits an almost upright as you enter the tunnel. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll come back this way. Uh, then if you go across the elevated section here, which is very nice, I'm looking at this, this is very sweetly done. And then that goes up that valley there. We're going to follow this one. Slightly more interesting, past the gridlock. Look, it's not even moving. <laughs> It's not even move. I've not paused the game. Look at the river. The river's moving. Uh, this is it. Yeah. Despawning. Just so things can move. <laughs> uh, yes. Now, like I say, um, Titan will soon tell you, ah, that's why I didn't connect those roads. Yes, I get that, Titan. I get it. And um, I'm not entirely marking you down on it. I just wanted to make sure that people that want this to be a working city with proper detailing, with, you know, with, with detailing by connecting up roads so there aren't holes in them, so that it looks real. Well, they know what they're going to get now, don't they? A little uh, tear off here. This goes elevated nice and slow and smooth. Excellent work there. And it's just the minimum height you'd want. In fact, if you look at these, these wires, the catenaries here, look at that. Look at that. See the way they feed through that uh, detailing there? That's nice. That's nice. I mean, who, who actually feeds that through? You imagine that being strung up in uh, in real life. You're gonna anyway. You're gonna get something entangled under there. I like it. I, it's technically a fail, but I like it, and I'm gonna let it go. Um, yeah. If we come down to grow lower level, see the trees aren't quite hanging in all the way along here. The trees aren't quite hanging into these wires. Um, so I'm gonna suspend disbelief with that uh, previous one. Here, the tunnel entrance just goes slightly up as we enter. See that? Just just slight incline. Come across the other side, and what do we have? It's a fairly sharp decline. So, yes, that's a couple of minor detailing faults. 
Nothing too bad. Nothing too major. Nothing that's going to kill the kill the map. Anyway, follow this off. Very pretty. Down the valley. Guess what time it is? It's asset review time. Of course it is. Now this I like a lot. I was worried it it seemed a little undersized, but uh, I have checked and it does seem to be about right. It's Petronas Gas Slash Petrol Station by my Hafiz. Lovely name. Your Hafiz what? I don't know. It's just a sweet little um, commercial item. And um, the first item that turned up here was a, a hot dog van to uh, deliver hot dogs to the little shop, which is, seems about right. Nice sign out the front. It's uh, not in English, but that's ah, okay. I'm not going to notice that when I'm putting it down in my city. I would just let it go. I'm not that worried about detail. Anyway, Petronas Gas Petrol Station by my half is that's a very, very sweet asset indeed. Right. So anyway, um, we're looking at uh, this week, uh, Yakatorian Tropic by Kanya with Starberg Lutt. There's a reason for this. Uh, two weeks ago, we had a look at one of Kanya's other themes and um, it's been taken down um, which is a little problem unfortunate a little unfortunate problem for Ikanya but um, they're, they're fixing it they're changing a few things so it can be replaced but uh, that was Spring Pine Rapids we're just gonna um, we're just gonna take a look this week at, uh, at uh, Yakatorian Tropic with Starberg and have a quick look at a factoid also how about um, ooh, during the rutting season a deer's antlers become highly erogenous. So um, during rutting season, don't go stroking those antlers. You might get surprised. And the oldest sex manuals were published by the Chinese about 5,000 years ago. And that's what you get for uh, well, basically inventing paper. You can do the first books. Now we've got this shipping route that goes all the way down the river like that. So, Obviously, you're going to get that clearly. And then, if we come down here, it was uh, fairly low bridges. The question is, will our big, big ships go through those bridges? And the answer is, of course, well, no, they won't. But, says Titan, but, says he, wagging his finger in the air, have a look on the Steam Workshops so that we do. And look, post, post edition, you get this. Okay, after I'd actually videoed all the footage, he, um, he'd updated with uh, little mods that you can replace the big ships with the smaller ships and now they don't clip so that is kind of cheating titan it's kind of cheating and i don't normally go back and video more things uh, but i did for you here uh, water flow it's a little intermittent it does run all the way down but there are little uh, little globally bits where it is uh, thin water flow and then thicker water flow um, and it's it's good it's good it's just not really the best fields i've got to tell you this like theme makers if you can do me fields that look that sort of color like brown color but with fertile paint rather than what we've got there which i believe was oil um i think that would work really well rather than having the lush greens for fertile go for go for go for muddy browns i think that would look amazing Right. So anyway, that's uh, that's for you. That's for you, uh, theme creators. That would be that'd be great if you could do that, um, because I say fields are often they're muddy. I'm loving the the, um, the cliff textures there. I'm loving all the textures in this map. It's uh, it looks really really nice. And this little outcrop here, um, I like it. I like it. I've I've seen outcrops like this. In fact, there's one fairly close to where I live, so we can uh, we can admire that. That's nice detailing as well. So yes, um, this is the very, very, I mean, it's a sweet looking map. It's very attractive. Um, the, the river is beautiful. It's just like, just follow it along. There's drowned trees, looking for drowned trees. There might be around here. Yeah, we've got some paddling. Now, to be honest with you, I'm looking at this thinking that this river probably does ebb and flow a little bit in fact it does technically ebb and flow a little bit so there are a few trees that are just in the water but i'm i'm ignoring them i'm ignoring them like this one here they're not too far in and um i think i think we can let it go but yes um titan he's done a very nice job it's a very nice um not overly detailed a lot of this is vanilla of course a lot of this apart from that wall 
everything, every asset is, is vanilla. And he's done a very good job of making a map that actually looks, well, not too, not too ugly. It's, it's just quite nice. Um, and lots of room to build, like up here, you can get up into, you know, once you get out of the valleys, there's room. The question is, getting out of the valleys, some of these roads that run down the valleys, uh, this is nice. I like this bit, by the way, I do like this bit. Just a little valley coming to a little hill in the valley, and it's just nice, nicely thought. I, I notice these things, you know, I do. But yes, um, when you've got these, these roads running down the valleys, if you want to get the road up and onto those top layers, there is a limited number of places you can do so. That doesn't mean it's wrong. It just means it's something you might have to think about. Anyways, I think we've probably covered the map now. So let's let's find somewhere sweet. Aesthetically, yes, I like it. I'm not going to hang around here. I'm just going to say I'm going to give it four stars. I like it. It's not the most beautiful, but it's still very nice. Detailing, I've got to um an air over, okay? The detailing's better than average I'm gonna I've got to accept that do I lose it a second star though because of the well the, the roads clamming up like that and um, I'm saying well the thing is if we if they clam up with a f uh, by connecting them but the detailing isn't correct if they're not connected I'm gonna give it four stars for detailing but for gameplay I'm gonna lose that star because of the uh, inability to play it as a vanilla game without it clamming up. Vader Valley by Titan. And it's a, it's a map I like. It's a map I like. And if you're detailing, then maybe that is the map for you. Very much so. Well, thanks for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. Join me tomorrow for another Map in the What's Map series. Join me tonight at 6 o'clock UK time for that Skylines trailer. Oh, ho, ho, we've got some stars. Proper stars coming to you this time. I mean, really, really top end stars and i'll be there as well <laughs> have a great day and i'll see you very very soon